of See Better by Sacred. <laughs> There, free cheap handle, I love it. Okay, so here's the end result. I've been using this for about three months now and it's worked great. So what I did was, I measured the attic access opening and I cut a piece of foam that was bigger than the attic access opening so that it would sit on top of the framing. Then I cut another piece of foam and I traced an outline of the inside of the attic access opening onto the foam and then I cut that out. What that gave me was a piece that's going to fit nice and tight inside the opening and a piece that's going to sit on top of the opening and then I glued those together. So because this lid fits very tight in the opening, I needed something to grab onto to be able to pull it down. That's where I came up with these two dowel rods that go through the foam and then they anchor into this 2x8 on the back side. And to anchor the dowel rods into this 2x8, I just drove a screw right beside each one and that did the trick. So let's put it in. So if you have an attic access hole in the interior living space of your house, this is probably something you're gonna to wanna to do because this is potentially one of the weakest spots in a building's envelope. And this is especially true in winter because heat rises and all of that air that you paid to heat is gonna go right out your attic access hole. And it's kind of like a chimney, it's gonna to continue to draw that air up constantly. It's probably equivalent to having a couple small windows open in your house all the time if you don't have anything blocking the airflow. So that's why you wanna build an attic access lid that's made out of something that's non-permeable to air, like foam. If you just have a fiberglass bat in there, that's not enough because fiberglass is not airtight. It acts like an air filter and the air can't move through it as quickly, but air will definitely be moving through it. Now foam is not air permeable, so this is acting like a block and it's not gonna let air get through. There may be a little bit of air get through around the edge, but that's why you wanna get the foam cut to an exact size and you want it to fit tight. And then also this foam, uh, every two inches is an R10. So I got four inches there, so that's gonna be an R20 of insulation value. And that's about all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks.